Hi folks, it's Jeff Womer and I'm back in the wood shop. Well, we're going to start our newest project. It's called the Spring Safe. This will be our um, coronavirus project, okay? Let's keep ourselves busy. Let's keep ourselves happy. Keep our minds occupied. Keep our hands occupied. Have some fun. Make some sawdust. Um, I had heard, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but um, I've heard the virus is allergic to sawdust. It kills the virus instantly. So breathe in as much sawdust as you can. Have fun in the wood shop. We're using a Pegasus saw today. I'm using a number 12 blade on this project. If you do not have a Pegasus, I would suggest you use an eighth inch blade, 025 thick, 14 tooth. Um, a Sterrett makes the best I've found. Our project is going to use a redwood 4x4. Four four. This is where we're going to start. So I've got this redwood 4x4 four four and I've scribed three lines on it. So we're going to start by cutting these first three lines and we will go from there. So without further ado, we're going to fire this puppy up. We're going to make some dust. Okay, our, our first cut is to slice off the bottom somewhere around a quarter inch thick, okay? Get it just as straight as you can. You'll notice my hands are laying on the table. I'm not holding my hands in the air. This helps me guide the wood nice and straight. Here's our bottom cut off. Now we cut our middle section here. This will become our, our drawer for our spring loaded box. So I'm coming all the way down to the very end here with this cut. And at the very end, I'm going to gently, gently, mind you, curve up. So now, I can get a little sweep, a little curve here. See the curve? This is very important. Gentle curve though, not a hard curve. So we have these pieces now, our bottom, what will become our drawers, and this will be the top of the drawers or the bottom of this box. So our next thing to do is since it's a safe, we have to cut our puzzle into the front of it first. So let me start by cutting a key. And then you're nice and gentle. Don't force the wood. Here's our first key. Now we cut off the top. Remember, take your time. Don't rush it. Let the saw do the work for you. Here's our top. And of course, if your saw is lined up, it should go both ways without any problem. Now our next key, we're going to put on the other corner here. next key. Now our next slide, 
We start down low, loop up a little bit here and make our dip down to make our dovetail. Again, it should slide both directions. Now, the reason I dipped down here and made this thick is because these little pieces are easy to break off. So by giving us a little beef up here, it makes this piece stronger, more durable. The box will last longer. Now we cut our next key in place. And what we do is we look through here to make sure we come in far enough that when we make this turn, we cut this key. Do we have enough meat back here? Okay, so that is our third locking key now. Our next slide, and we're going to come right in the middle of this dovetail top. Once again, there's another dovetail. Again, slides should go both ways. Now we're going to make a long key coming all the way in here. Okay, now it's time to cut the top off the box. And we're going to cut an upside down dovetail here. So this is our upside down dovetail, as opposed to our front lid, it's the right side up dovetail. By cutting in this fashion, now we have a handle to hold on to, to get to the inside of our box, which we will now get to. I'm now going to adjust my blade down a little bit. And I'm going to cut out and hollow this cavity. And a couple tricks here I like to do uh, suggestions. I like to make it a little thicker right here on the wall because this is your stress point and you need to have it thick in the back. So get a little thicker in the wall here. And then in the back we're going with about a half inch thick back instead of a quarter inch this size. Coming out the same hole I came in. Here is our bottom now to that section of, of box. Now we need to cut our inside to go in it. So our first thing to do is cut the top off and make an inside lid. This is our inside lid, which will go inside and now we're going to make the hardware to go inside the box. I'm going to bring the blade back down a little bit and come in the side here. This is going to be our release mechanism for our spring drawer here.
this is going to be a little box we we're putting in here for one reason and one reason only. That reason is because we can. Never had a better reason. Now we need a shoulder and a joiner still. Shoulder. And joiner. Now. A joiner is what is used to bind the box back together into one piece. Where we cut two. Chew, chew, excuse me, chew, where we cut through. Our shoulder is to help support the upper lid. Our release will go in here. And our because we can box will go in here. Our lid will go on, our lid will slide on. But now we got to finish our joiner, our. Um, a release pin. So we cut a handle first. And we cut a top. And then we set a handle inside so we can pull this puppy out when we want to. And a couple of shoulders on it. Okay. So we have this and this. little box inside here is our because we can box so we put a handle on it cut off the bottom cut off the top Make a drawer out of it. Top, bottom. We've got a little box now. Now that little box should have a drawer in it, right? So we have a wee drawer and a wee box. It all goes together. And all of that goes in here. We held in place by the framework we cut. Our lid goes on or in and our lid, extra lid slides on. Now we have the top Half of our box has been cut. Now we have the bottom half of our cut box to deal with. So our next step is to use a marking gauge. And I like to leave maybe um, 
three eighths of an inch um, on my lines here on to the inside. So I've marked where my drawer is going to be. Now here's a tricky little catch we got to do here. We want to gently taper. Are two ends and we've also got a taper remember on the top so okay and this is going to be our spring-loaded drawer and this is going to be our magnetic drawer and this little bit in the middle is going to be trash so I have our bottom sitting here Now, if you just position your fingers like a shoulder, once you get it in line, okay, then you just run that puppy in there. Nice straight cut. out this little bit of extra wood in here. Okay, now let's cut our drawers out. So the first thing we cut our drawer out is the bottom comes off. Again, a little bit thicker than an eighth of an inch or so is all you need. Here's the bottom of the drawer. Now let's hollow it out. Then we'll cut our top up. Put a handle in it. shoulders, one on each side. One. Two. Shoulder. Shoulder. And there is our box with the lid. And that will be the magnetic box. Goes in the back. My last box to cut there now is our front spring drawer. Cut off the bottom again. There's our drawer hollowed out. Now, I'm going to make sure you leave a, a good thickness back here and up here. You got a pin that has to go in here and a spring that has to go in back here. So our last thing to do here is cut our handle and shoulders on this top. Top. And there's 
shoulder. One. So we have our bottom section now. With two drawers. This will be spring loaded. This will be magnetic. And those sit below our puzzle section. So we've got all this cutting done. And this is the easy part, guys, girls. The hard part is in gluing, okay? When I first started teaching box making almost 15 years ago, I guess, I envisioned that people would have trouble cutting. Well, most people get the cutting down pretty quick. But the gluing seems to confuse people for some reason or another. So we're going to move on to the next step to the gluing table and I'm going to show you how to glue a piece up. Now the gluing I do on this is the same procedure for any puzzle box. Something to remember, a good puzzle box, it has nothing to do with how it's cut. It has everything to do with how it's put back together. So, we'll see you at the gluing table, folks. Bye!